Just in case you don't know, you better ask somebody on skates, baby. You know what makes my blood boil? Reading that the Small Business Administration is about to run out of money to pay disaster victims in the Hurricane Aline afflicted areas. Nonetheless, you never hear any government agency complaining that they're about to run out of money when they've got to send supplies and money and troops have to be deployed out to conflict areas fighting foreign wars. Eight trillion in post 9-11 conflicts. This government has come out of their pockets. Nonetheless, for victims of Hurricane Helene, they're running out of paper. And this is under Biden's watch. Now, that does not mean that I'm leaning either way because during the pandemic, what had happened? The Small Business Administration changed the rules allowing businesses to receive grants $1,000 per employee when Congress in the CARES Act stipulated that it was supposed to be $10,000 and they start complaining that that was not their original objective with that program. Nonetheless, under Trump's watch, the Small Business Administration, Administrator Carranza, decided to only give $1,000 per employee. So I'm not letting anybody slide. They don't care about people that are suffering and undergoing real issues. The only way for you to make movements is to start your business, grow it as big as you possibly can because you are either inside or you are out. Preferably, if you're watching me, you want to work with the unfair advantage. That's what I instruct you to always do. Ensure, there's a car coming. I'm just starting on these skates. I'm not all that with them. Anyway, work with an unfair advantage. Be the puppeteer, not the puppet, because you see, for instance, Elon Musk coming out of his pockets, what, $46 million a month? I don't even know what the exact figure is for Trump's campaign. Nonetheless, he swings both ways. In the terms or perspective that I'm talking about politically because he was first donating to Dem Democrats when, oops. <laughs> oh man, I'm busting my butt. Smells like teen spirit, yeah. <laughs> oh man, good thing you didn't see that. Anyway, if you take a look at Open Secrets, you'll see Elon Musk has contributed on both sides of the aisle, politically speaking. Initially, he was supporting all these Democrats and then when they were in power, he got all kinds of money for loans for his organization. What else? Who else knows what other type of funding? Perhaps grants, money that he didn't have to pay back. He paid back the loan that reportedly he took out under the Obama administration. Nonetheless, now he's going, working for the other side. Doesn't matter. And if Trump loses, he'll be supporting a Harris administration. I guarantee it because it all has to do in ensuring that he maintains his government contracts, that he's in a position to constantly have that unfair advantage. So that's the position for which we are aiming watching this channel. That's why I say, pick up the materials that I tell you, because listen, the only way that we're going to win is voting with our pocketbooks. I'm not supporting either one until I'm part of the business. Understand if I'm not getting a check or getting a cut off of what's going down in the real way that the economy and every part of each administration functions then forget it look we are going to money uh oh we're going fast going fast we're on the street right now anyway we're skating right here and i'm telling you exactly what you need to do to change your life not be dependent on one politician and they're lying to you as well because either way they can say everything that they're going to list out and it could be everything along your needs the top issues 
about what you care. Do you feet together? Most. Let me get my feet together. Mm -hmm. And they still can't get it done because they need an all-out squad in the Senate and the House to be able to vote on whatever projects that they have lined up. Otherwise, Congress people could just sue them and whatever executive orders that they make, gone with the wind. Remember, there is a balance of power in this country. So even if a president wants to do everything that you need to get done, he can't do it without a majority vote in Congress. So that's probably the most viable way that I see a democratic system has in place. Why don't they come with the whole crew? You gotta be like, Avengers assemble. This is my squad that I am pushing to ensure that we all get elected into Congress to make some real change happen. And even if it's like that, not one politician can support every single issue that will meet you and your family's needs. So the only viable way for you to make substantial change for you and your loved ones, start your business, be self-sustaining in every way possible with your wealth, with your health, take control through the information that you consume day in and day out, reveal truths and whatever it is that the people in power make you want to think that they're doing for you, for the most part, it's false. Now, they're talking about conspiracies, that there are mining organizations that are making money and leveraging the afflicted over in Western North Carolina, in Eastern Tennessee, and other parts of the country afflicted by these hurricanes. Now, I haven't performed all the research on how all of that is operating. Nonetheless, what I will tell you is that Piedmont Industries, or whatever that organization is formally called, their stock is up. Last I checked, roughly 23%, if I'm not mistaken, perhaps even more over the past few days. So they are benefiting in one way or the other, regardless of whether the details are just a bunch of tin hat wearing conspiracies they are benefiting. Why are they benefiting? Well, are they in a position? Or is just the market thinking that they are in a position best suited to be able to leverage these tragedies, to be able to mine all of these precious metals, to get supplies, build electric batteries. You know, there's a mad demand. I've been seeing crazy Tesla cyber trucks, batteries for electric cars, the materials that they need to build the chips, to power all of this AI technology that's developing day in and day out and trying to make what, humans obsolete? I don't see that happening anytime soon. Nonetheless, where do they want us? That's what we gotta see. Are they really trying to take out the human male so the powers that be can ultimately conquer us a lot easier? Pick up the ebook, let's grow together. Let's put ourselves on solid footing, unlike the solid footing on which I'm ro rolling right now. No, I'm on solid footing. We put in the hours, baby. We put in the, ti the, the time. We were rolling out there in my son's basketball school's parking lot. Hours each time. Well, about an hour and change each time. Putting that work in anyway. Let's put in that work. I welcome you to join our community on a premium level. Pick up the ebook. Go ahead and join me for a workshop, 47 Bones, where I'll take your questions and answers to ensure that whatever it is that I instruct you to do, you know how to do 